A very good morning to everyone who have graced us with their presence today. Today, on Netaji Subhas Chandra Bose's 126th birth anniversary, we have gathered here to pay our utmost respect and admiration to him for being one of the revered freedom fighters of India, instrumental in propelling India's freedom struggle. Well, this is only the beginning as we welcome you all to witness a series of patriotic performances organized by Vidyalankar Institute of Technology filled with artists bringing in their praiseworthy talents and we are rest assured the only expression with which you will be witnessing this event till the very end is fascination so without further ado allow us Kushi Tambarne and Chinmay Ranade your hosts for the day to accompany you in this honoring for which we have gathered here today never lose your faith in the destiny of india there is no power on this earth which can keep india chained india will be free and that too soon these were just not words but the staunch belief of netaji in the greatness of our motherland resonating with this belief let us welcome kiri swami of the finally a biomedical engineering department as he presents an instrumental rendition depicting the strong patriotism of these freedom fighters towards our nation
such a mellifluous performance. It instilled a sense of pride in all of us for being citizens of India. They say a picture speaks a thousand words. Up next, we have Jignya Kanekar from second year Information Technology Department presenting an artistic performance wherein she paints a portrait of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose.
That was indeed a very creative way to pay our respects. Thank you, Jadnya. What cannot be expressed in prose is better expressed through poetry. Our next performer, Purva Jok from the Secondary Electronics and Telecommunications Engineering Department, will be presenting a poetic composition composed by the renowned poet Shri Gopal Prasad Vyas. Namaskar, I am Purva Jok from SEHCC, and today I am going to talk to you about Kavi Gopal Prasad Vyas, who has written a poem in Subhash Chandra Post. I am going to talk about a poem. I am going to talk about a poem that you will be able to talk about this poem. है समय नदी की बाढ़ कि जिसमें सब बह जाया करते हैं है समय बड़ा तूफान प्रबल पर्वत झुक जाया करते हैं अक्सर दुनिया के लोग समय में चक्कर खाया करते हैं लेकिन कुछ ऐसे होते हैं इतिहास बनाया करते हैं यह उसी वीर इतिहास पुरुष की अनुपम अमर कहानी है जो रक्त कणों से लिखी गई जिसकी जय हिंद निशानी है प्यारा सुभाष नेता सुभाष भारत भू का उजियारा था पैदा होते ही गणिकों ने जिसका भविष्य लिख डाला था यह वीर चक्रवर्ती होगा या त्यागी होगा सन्यासी जिसके गौरव की याद रखेंगे युग युग तक भारतवासी सो वही वीर नौकर शाही ने पकड़ जेल में डाला था पर क्रुद्ध कहरी कभी नहीं फंदे में टिकने वाला था बांधे जाते इंसान कभी तूफान न बांधे जाते हैं बांधे जाते इंसान कभी तूफान न बांधे जाते हैं काया जरूर बांधी जाती बांधे न इरादे जाते हैं वह दृढ़ प्रतिज्ञा से नानी था जो मौका पाकर निकल गया वह पारा था अंग्रेजों की मुट्ठी में आकर फिसल गया जिस तरह धूत दुर्योधन से बचकर यदुनंदन आए थे जिस तरह शिवाजी ने मुगलों के पहरेदार छकाए थे बस उसी तरह यह तोड़ पिंजरा तोते से बेदाग गया जनवरी माह सन इकतालीस मच गया शोर वह भाग गया वे कहाँ गए वे कहाँ रहे ये धूमिल अभी कहानी है हमने तो उसकी नई कथा आज़ाद फौज से जानी है आज़ाद फौज से जानी है धन्यवाद Thank you, Purva, for gracing us with those inspirational and poetic words. Up next, we have Sarang More from second year Computer Engineering Department, who will yet again present a melodious rendition in the company of his flute. Thank you, Sarang, for that composition. I can surely claim it was music to the ears. Moving forward, we have a speech written by Gaurav Badoria from the second year Electronics Engineering Department. My co-host Kushi Tembune 
from the second year electronics engineering department will be reciting his speech and taking us on a journey to witness the greatness of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. On the 18th of August 1945, three days after Japan surrendered to the Allies, the line of Indian National Army, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, embarked on a flight. A flight of freedom, a flight to continue his struggle for India's independence. Worshipped by millions of thousands and willing to walk through the gates of martyrdom on his command, Netaji Bose was perhaps the only modern nationalist leader who confronted the empire in the battlefield. Netaji made his vision his work and his work his worship. He had his goal clear in mind, to free India from the barbaric, illegitimate and cancerous British occupation. Unfortunately, Netaji's flight never made it to its destination and perhaps what a loss of a pendant is to its necklace, a diamond to its ring, a sword to its knight, India felt a loss of the same magnitude. Today, as we all have gathered here to celebrate what Netaji sacrificed for this country, I urge all of us to spare a few minutes to think of what Netaji wanted India to be like. Where have we reached in his vision and what can each one of us do to possibly make this vision a breathing reality? Netaji Bose advocated for European ideals like justice and equality in free India. We made this not only a possibility, but a reality by our laws and society is modernizing on these principles at a rate we could not have imagined. All we have to do is continue on this path and soon enough, society wouldn't have just adopted but embodied these values. He also advocated for Indian traditional values and heritage along with modern science and technological advancements. We did not let him down as an exponential growth is visible in citizens who question the practices that are unjust in nature, and yet we have a large population who don't feel ashamed bowing to the feet of the elderly, who don't consider the old a liability, but a source of vital wisdom and a blessing. Yes, this comes with a whole range of exceptions, but exceptions don't define a majority, and the majority of this country has formed a balance in faith and rationality. Netaji Bose wanted to establish free and compulsory primary education for all citizens. Here again is good news for us. 95% of the children in India have been placed in primary education, but unfortunately the trend fades and this 95% falls to 40% in the category of 9th to 12th grade education. He even established the Rani Jhasi Regiment in Azad Hind Forge in order to promote gender equality amongst the citizens. The daughters of India are involved in various fields ranging from business executives corporate CEOs, military generals, prime ministers, presidents to proud and self-chosen homemakers. Yes, it's a fact that not every girl gets the opportunity to choose whether she would like to work or whether she wants to be married or let alone who she wishes to marry at all. And this is a subject we need to work more on to make sure that an Indian woman has choices like these available. Netaji Bose also wished to establish a secular government in independent India. We have not let our Netaji down and have created a country where minorities are better off than anywhere else on this planet. Where anyone born in faith or born in house of no faith is seen with the same spectacle by the ruling authority. Occasionally, there are incidents which have put us all to shame as a country, but the governments over the years have always held on to its principles and never let the state fail in its values. Netaji Bos, the Azad Hind Forge, was based on the thought that all soldiers, irrespective of race, religion and caste, participated in war of independence under one leader and one slogan. India still, to an extent, struggles with this problem on a societal level because still there are individuals who differentiate others on the basis of one's birth, race and we as a society need to counter this as soon as possible so that we can truly make Netaji's vision for this country a reality. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was a leader who fought for this country against all odds. We appreciate his work and will surely attempt to make changes as the future of India. Thank you all for listening. Jai Hind! I hope I could do justice to Gaurav's speech. Thank you Gaurav for penning down such thought-provoking words. It makes us ponder about the great personality Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was. Next, we have Nandini Gore from 2nd year Computer Engineering Department who will present a mono act 
depicting the memories of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose through the eyes of his younger brother Sarat Chandra Bose. Namaskar. Today is the birth anniversary of my beloved brother, the Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Just like every year, Ma made Mishti Doi for Dada. But just like the past few years, he is not here to eat. But this time the reason is something else. An Indian nationalist who died on 18th August 1945, it was beyond a beliefs. And all were eagerly waiting for him to come with the Azad Hind Forge from Singapore, Japan. Let us begin from start. He was born on 23rd January, today, 1897. He was exceptionally well in his studies, but due to his nationalist behavior, he was expelled from his college, governed by the Britishers. He believed very strongly that Sabse bada aparad, aparad nahi. Aparad ko sehna aur galat ke saath samjhota karna hota hai. Our father suggested him to prepare for ICS, Indian Civil Services, which was in London. As he was a prodigy, he completed the whole study of four years in seven months and became a rank holder. Dada was arrested by Bengal government. But after strong bhook hartal, he managed to get out of prison. Then he made a successful plan to head towards Afghanistan. After great efforts, he reached Nazi Germany, where he was offered similar kind of interest for India's independence. After going there, the only way to stay connected to Dada was letters, telegram and India radio, which was broadcasted every night. Once we received a letter in which he shared that he was going to plan a journey from Germany to Japan through submarine. Wished luck from us. With German's permission, he founded Indian National Army, INA, in which prison Indian soldiers were welcomed. And when he reached Japan, he revamped the INA comprising defecting Indian soldiers of British Indian Army captured by Japanese in Battle of Singapore. Bose formed provisional government of Free India in Japanese occupied Andaman and Nicobar Island with slogans Jai Hind and Chalo Dilli. The British Indian Army first halted and reversed Japanese attack on India. Almost half Japanese force and INA soldiers died, many by starvation and disease. Many force of Singapore surrendered, but Bose has chosen not to surrender with his force or with Japanese, rather to escape from Manchuria with a view of seeking future in Soviet Union, which turned anti-British recently. Before he could execute the plan, Japan government stated he was burned from third degree burns received when his overloaded plane crashed in Japanese Taiwan.
it's approximately five months and all indians in different parts of the world is reacting very brutally to this news they gathered all their courage and started revolting against britishers the indians have started campaigns against non beneficial rules and non violence movement this shows the love of hindustanis towards shubhash chandra bose and bose is never going to die thank you nandini for that scintillating performance next we present to you a short glimpse of the patriotic life which netaji shubhash chandra bose lived through a documentary created by shubh gupta from the second year electronics and telecommunications department दूसरे विश्व युद्ध में हिंदुस्तान की भूमिका को लोग कम ही जानते हैं तब हिंदुस्तान आजाद मुल्क नहीं था इसलिए हिंदुस्तानी जवान अंग्रेजों की फौज में शामिल होकर जर्मनी और जापान से लड़ रहे थे अपने समय की सबसे बड़ी वॉलंटियर फौज इस ब्रिटिश इंडियन आर्मी के 60,000 हिंदुस्तानी जवान सिंगापुर में तैनात थे और जब उन्नीस में जापानियों ने सिंगापुर अचानक से जीत लिया तो ब्रिटेन के प्रधानमंत्री विंसन चर्चिल ने इसे ब्रिटेन के फौजी इतिहास की सबसे शर्मनाक हार माना तकरीबन तीस हजार अंग्रेज और ऑस्ट्रेलियन सैनिकों के साथ साठ हजार हिंदुस्तानी जवान भी बंदी बना लिए गए ये फोटो उस दिन की है जब उनकी तकरीर हुई आईने बनने के कुछ महीने बाद मोहन सिंह को हटाया गया क्योंकि जापानी से उसकी नहीं बन रही थी बिना किसी नेता के आईने बिखरने लगी एंड वन डे नेताजी राइट वी विल एनकाउंटर हंगर थर्स्ट एंड डेथ ऑन द वे उस दिन मुझे पहली बार एहसास हुआ कि मैं अपनी तकदीर खुद लिख सकता हूं मैं भी इनकलाब ला सकता हूं इतिहास बदल सकता हूं इंडिया शाल बी फ्री जैसे वो बदल रहे थे चलो दिल्ली चलो दिल्ली चलो दिल्ली आकाश विल नॉट एन अंचल आसहारी हीरोज होल्ड द फिफ्टी परेड ऑन द ग्रेट यार्ड ऑफ द ब्रिटिश एम्पायर द लाल किला और द रेड फोर्ट्रेस ऑफ एंशियंट डेली The hour has struck and every patriotic Indian must advance towards the field of battle. Only when the blood of freedom loving Indians begin to flow will India attain her freedom. Inkilab Zindabad. Aadad Hind Zindabad. I stand here representing the provincial government and ask you to offer money, jewelry or anything else you can contribute to the cause of freedom. उन्नीस सौ बयालीस में जब जापानियों ने ब्रिटिश इंडियन आर्मी को हराकर सिंगापुर जीत लिया तो जापानियों की मदद से हिंदुस्तानी युद्ध बंदी और दूसरे गैर फौजी हिंदुस्तानियों को मिलाकर आजाद हिंद फौज का निर्माण हुआ जिसमें एक महिला रेजिमेंट भी थी रानी झांसी रेजिमेंट आजाद हिंद फौज के पचास हजार फौजी इस महिला रेजिमेंट के साथ चलो दिल्ली के नारे लगाते हुए हिंदुस्तान की तरफ चल पड़े अंग्रेजी सल्तनत से अपनी आजादी छीन लेने के लिए तुम मुझे खून दो मैं तुम्हें आजादी दूंगा नेताजी का यह ऐलान आजाद हिंद फौज का नारा बन गया सब कुछ हार जाने के बाद भी उनका हौसला नहीं टूटा आजाद हिंदुस्तान के सपने को सच करने के लिए आजाद हिंद फौज लड़ती रही इस सपने से डरकर अंग्रेज हाकिमों ने इस फौज से जुड़ी सारी खबरों पर पाबंदी लगा दी और आजाद हिंद फौज को गद्दारों की सेना घोषित कर दिया जी हाँ हम बात कर रहे हैं नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस की अगस्त उन्नीस में जब दूसरे विश्व युद्ध में जापान की हार हो गई तो उनके सहयोगियों ने तय किया कि नेताजी को तुरंत सिंगापुर छोड़कर रूस चले जाना चाहिए वो सिंगापुर से बैंकॉक होते हुए पहले साइगोन और फिर ताइपे पहुंचे 
ताइपे से दोपहर दो बजकर पैंतीस मिनट पर जापानी बॉम्बर ने मंचूरिया के लिए उड़ान भरी लेकिन हुआ ऐसा प्लेन तो जैसा था उस जमाना का बॉम्बर छोटा प्लेन उसमें सीट बोल के कुछ था नहीं बल्कि पायलट का सीट और दो सीट उसमें जो सामने एक सीट था पायलट को पायलट के बाद उस सीट नेताजी का ऑफर किया तो बाकी सब नेताजी को लेके ही मट्टी में मतलब फ्लोर में बैठा दुर्भाग्य का बात था कि जहाँ सुभाष बोस बैठे थे उनका ऊपर एक पेट्रोल टैंक था और जब प्लेन क्रैश हुआ तो वो पेट्रोल पूरा उनका शरीर में गिर गया मतलब एकदम सिर से पाव तक और उनका पूरा कपड़ा भी एकदम भींग गया ये पेट्रोल में तो जब क्रैश के बाद आग के भीतर से उन्होंने दौड़ के जब निकल रहा था तो पूरा शरीर में आग लग गया गुलामी की जंजीरों को तोड़ने के लिए एक दिल एक प्राण होकर कटिबद्ध हो जाइए हिंदुस्तान अब गुलाम नहीं रह सकता और न कोई ताकत इसे गुलाम रखी सकती है for that documentary it was nothing but marvelous netaji subhash chandra bose was a great role model and a voice for the protectors of our nation our soldiers today on his birth anniversary we also pay our respects and gratitude to the soldiers of our nation for their constant efforts in protecting us and our motherland up next we have saurav mohile from the third year electronics engineering department presenting a melodious tune to pay our homage
Thank you, Saurav, for that wonderful composition. Netaji Shubhachandra Bose was one of the perfect exemplary figures, well versed with the texts and a dire desire for freedom. Thus, to pay our respects next, we present to you another beautiful art form in the form of a sketch by Sakshi Indulkar from the second year Computer Engineering Department. for that spectacular sketchwork. Up next, we have a musical rendition orchestrated by Shubham Soman from third year Electronics and Telecommunications Engineering Department, Girish Swami from final year Biomedical Engineering Department and Likhit Kajrolkar, an alumnus of our prestigious institution.
Thank you for that wonderful rendition. Confidence is always in direct proportion to preparation. On behalf of the organizing members of the student council, I would like to extend a gratitude to you dear audience for making our event a huge success with your unconditional and unwavering support. I would also like to convey my gratitude to all respected authorities of the Dalangar Institute of Technology for encouraging our students to partake in such extracurricular activities thereby making us multifaceted individuals and making today's session a huge success. It was a pleasure having you all here today. Thank you.